As the government prepares to send an all-party delegation to assess the situation in Kashmir, the violence on the ground continues, and say, so, do, so too does the daily hardship. Curfew is now very strict indeed, and that's causing suffering to many ordinary Kashmiris. The violence in the valley, it seems, just refuses to end. Three people were killed today, one each in Bargam, Baramula and Chopin. Locals allege security forces opened fire when protesters clashed with them. Fifteen protesters were injured. The army has decided to jointly control the protests with the police. This latest program has called for sit-in protests near the army camps, as also stopping of military vehicles and convoys on the 21st of September. This is a deliberate ploy by the Hurriyat to involve the army in the law and order situation. Srinagar airport reopened today, but with curfew still being enforced strictly, life in Kashmir continues to be very tough. Hidden from the political debate, this household explains the real pain and sufferings of people of Kashmir. Seven-year-old Alam Firdos suffers from a heart condition but can't get medical help. Due to strict curfew in Srinagar, she's been forced to stay home for the past five days. Her father feels helpless. We're not able to go anywhere. We're not able to get any medicine for my daughter who is suffering from such a really, uh, I mean, uh, life-taking uh, disease. We're not able to get for medicine for my uh, father. As you see, he's lying on the bed. We're not able to get milk for my three years old uh, daughter. We're not able to get any essential uh, requirements for my home. Caught in the strife are the ordinary people, some of them little children like Alam, who hasn't been to school for three months since the latest cycle of violence began. A few miles away, dozens of patients and their attendants wait outside the casualty ward of Kashmir's biggest hospital. While the government is saying that curfew has been imposed to restore order and prevent violence and more killings, on the ground it is causing hardships to the people and patients who have no access to medicine. Medical shops have been shut because of curfew and patients are suffering in this hospital. Both patients and doctors are asking, how can a hospital run without medicine? In Srinagar with cameraman Sheikh Tariq, Nazir Masudi, for NDTV.